I had no idea what MS was. I only had an idea that it was serious. Can you tell us what exactly is MS and how is it impacting my body? In order to understand MS, we have to think about the immune system. So the immune system is the portion of our body that's kind of like our security or our army that tours the body uh, looking for foreign invaders. And if the immune system sees a foreign invader, a bacteria, a fungus, a virus, it identifies it as such and kills it and clears it out so that we overcome an infection. Unfortunately, sometimes the immune system makes an error in judgment and it can identify part of your body as being a foreign invader. So it's attacking you by accident. If that attack occurs in the pancreas, well, that's a very common disease called diabetes. Multiple sclerosis is also an autoimmune condition. It's an autoimmune condition where the immune system attacks the holiest of holy, the supercomputer that runs the body, the brain, and the superhighway, the spinal cord that takes all that information up and down. It can cause what we call an attack, where a certain area that got inflamed, that got attacked, it short circuits and doesn't work. So if the immune system attacks the optic nerve, then you may not see very well. If the immune system attacks the spinal cord, you may be numb and tingly from that level down. Over time, someone with multiple sclerosis can accumulate disability, even independent from attacks, um, over a period of years. We call that progression independent from relapse activity. And, and how is MS diagnosed? There's five elements to an MS diagnosis. So the first one is your story, your history. And when the neurologist is asking you all of those questions, what they're trying to do is they're trying to elicit a history of attacks or of a slow progressive decline. The second thing is the, the neurologist will do the neuro exam where they have you do all the testing. And what we're doing there is we're trying to find objective evidence on your exam that supports what you tell us in your history. The third element in working up a person for possible MS is the MRIs because it gives us great insights into the structure of your brain, optic nerves, and spinal cord. And we can see the MS lesions or spots. When the immune system attacks a part of your brain, it leaves a residual mark on the brain that we can see on the MRI. Now, the fourth part of the diagnosis is a lumbar puncture, spinal fluid. And spinal fluid can help confirm a diagnosis. It's not required for every person. You can make a diagnosis sometimes without spinal fluid. Sometimes you need spinal fluid. And when we do the fluid, we're comparing the results to the, the, the counts in your blood, and we're doing a comparison, looking for evidence of an overly active immune response in the central compartment. Number five is not to be ignored. It's very important. It's, hey, Aaron, by the way, prove it's nothing else. And so when we think there's something that's MS, we have to also make sure that it's not a mimic. And so those are the five elements to working someone to come up with a diagnosis. I remember when I was being diagnosed and my neurologist was pushing for the lumbar puncture and my, I was very young, I was 23 and my mom was with me and she uh, had been a nurse and she managed to talk the doctor out of giving me that initial lumbar puncture. So I was very happy for that with all the, oh, mom. Yeah. the turmoil of being diagnosed. So in addition to these tests that you've mentioned, what process can we expect to go through in getting that, that diagnosis? I think the typical series of events uh, would, would sound something like this. You have some weird stuff that happens to you and you can't blow it off. So after a couple of days or weeks, you got to come clean with the fact that you can't see out of your eye or what have you. And that's going to bring you to the attention of some doctors. Probably eventually you're going to lead to where you see a neurologist. And that neurologist is going to take a careful history and ask you a bunch of questions about that weird event and really get into the specifics of, of, of the details of that. And then they're gonna to wanna to do a neuro exam as we've been discussing. They're gonna send you for MRIs and they may need to obtain a lumbar puncture. And after all that's collected, there should be a sit down with the neurologist to go over those results and to clarify, do you have MS or do you not have MS or are you at risk to go on to develop MS? MS is an autoimmune condition where the body attacks the central nervous system. MS is typically diagnosed as relapsing remitting, primary progressive, or secondary progressive. An MS diagnosis often relies on patient history, neurological exams, MRI scans, and lumbar punctures. Thanks so much for watching. For more content on MS, from treatments and diagnosis to mobility and sex, check out the rest of MS 101.